Hey, before we get started with this video, I just want to tell you guys I'll be live streaming at 3 p.m. Pacific time. That's 5 p.m. Central and 6 p.m. Eastern. And for you UKers, that's 11 p.m. I will be streaming today for five hours. We're going to be doing Sims 4, tons of other games with tons of other YouTubers. So make sure you come on over. The link is down below. What is up, everyone? Mr. Aviator here bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 Family Matters here on Aviator Games. And you guys, last time we left off, we created the Matters family. They have a father, a mother, and four children. Yes, this series is all about the kids. It's about raising a successful family, being good parents, and sending off our young into the world to live on their own. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, guys, like I said last time, we created the family. This time, we're creating the family's house. Now, I did cheat in one lump sum of $50,000 to help us out because $28,000 was not going to be enough to build a house for six people or at least a comfortable house for six people. So I figure $78,000 should allow us to build a decent sized house built with decent stuff and also, you know, have a nice backyard and everything for the kids because it's all about raising successful kids. We don't want the kids to be adults by the time we're able to have some type of house. So basically that's what we did. But before we get started with this episode, guys, if you enjoy this series and you want to support the channel and support the show you love, make sure you hit that like button. It really does go a long way in helping grow the channel and everything, and I super appreciate it. So if you have that ability, I would love if you could do so, but let's get started without further delay building a house. Now you guys know I'm not the greatest when it comes to building houses. I'm actually probably one of the worst simmers you'll see on YouTube when it comes to this aspect of life. So, ah, God, it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. Now, I hardly ever build my houses uh, on top of a foundation, but I think I'm going to try. Is this one that's already on a foundation? Once you place this room or deck, use the... Hor okay, yes. Okay, so yes, this is with a foundation, I think. So we're going to do one with a foundation because it'll be a little off the ground. It'll give the house a little bit of dimension, and it'll be good. Is it on a deck? Is it on a foundation? It's not on a foundation. Okay, so I have to build a foundation myself. Okay, well, we'll build the foundation. Let's do this. Uh, I don't know how I want the house to be shaped. That's something I'm kind of like having struggles with. Um, let me see, is that centered? I think this is gonna be centered right there. I think, I'm not gonna count all the blocks out, but I think that's centered. Now yeah, I wanna kinda up off the ground because, but I don't know if this is gonna do it off the ground. It's not, oh, well that's lame. Okay, well hold on guys. I guess off the ground is not an option for me right now. How do I get it off the ground? Oh, I remember how. Oh, I remember how. I think I do, I think I do. What's this? What's this? Empty rooms? No. What's this? That's that's the stuff you use. I, I think I know how to get it off the ground. Oh, <gasps> you do. Okay, so yeah, you gotta place a room and then you can do that to get it off the ground. Okay, that's right. Okay, so see, like I told you guys, I am not the greatest builder. Uh, I was really contemplating just putting a house from the community, like, in here. But I was like, you know, this is my show. I want to build my own house. So, you know, I'm giving it a shot, even though I know this could be a total fail. Uh, I want a little entryway, a little mud room. I think when you have this many kids, mud room is necessary. So this is going to be our mud room. Um, now let's just get the wall tool. I'm going to just kind of go out here and just kind of build up um, a few cool basic square rooms. You know, just like, let me count these though. This is going to be important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight. We can do eight. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom, that's the house. It's beautiful, guys. It's off to a great start already. Okay, so now we can go to foundation. So let's go to the foundation. We're gonna raise this up just a wee bit, okay, guys? You know, we like we like a good foundation look. Uh, let's go with something like this, but let's get it reddish if we can. Oh no, I want it like red I want it like red with a Okay, well let's let's see how this looks. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so let's is that everything? Okay. Because then it, we can make this house look really, like, family-orientated and stuff. Actually, we should probably go with white. Because white's going to be, yeah, that's going to be cooler. We can have, like, little shutters and white picket fence. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. So let's see. Now that we got this going, uh, we can try to kind of section off the rooms a little bit. This is the hardest part for me, literally making a house look cool. You know, like, that's, that's where I find that I struggle the most, trying to make the shape of a house look awesome. And I think we're going to add some of these. Okay, so we're going to go out like this, and in like this, and does that make sense? Can I, I can grab this, and I don't know if this looks good. I don't know if this looks good. Let me undo this really quick. 
Can't I just make it in general bigger? Like, that would be pretty nice. Actually, I could do this. Oh, guys, I think I have an idea. Oh, my God. Hold on now. I might actually have a little definition to my house. This is ridiculous. What am I, uh, the legacy? Am I building good houses now? <laughs> She's so good. I wish I was as good as her. Okay, here we go. So, I don't know. Is that something? Is that is that cool? Little nooks? Little, like, this could be an office? This could be a cool office look to it? Could I, should I build, should I build the wall here now instead? You know? And then, and then I'm able to go out like this. You know? Just, just have that little dimension. Oh, that looks nice. You know, I'm a fan of this. We could do something with that. And it, it adds a little bit of shape to the house so it's not so plain. Um, okay, let's try that on the other side, I guess. Uh, let's go right here. And then we're gonna go right here. And then... We can go with the wall tool and do the same thing right there. Okay, guys. Well, things are really coming along now. So one side could be like a kitchen. One side could be like a living room even. I think that would work out really nice. Okay, so deleted. And at least our house has some type of shape. At least our house isn't one giant square. Which is sometimes how my houses turn out. Now I do want like bay windows. But I want this to be able to... I think this would be good. Like that, just kind of like chilling in the center here. You know, it, it, it's got to have some type of dimension, guys. And I'm not very good at house building, so this at least will give it some type of like, oh, look, he's, he kind of knows what he's doing. Okay, so looking good, looking beautiful. It's going to look very presidential. We've already spent 5000 just building this outline. It's kind of expensive. Uh, okay, so let's get that white little fencing in again. Is everything good? Yes, it is. Okay, so perfect. Now, let's, uh, window, I guess. Window it up. So, yes, windows would be easier. Let's just finish the outside of the house and then, like, look at going into the next part. Um, hmm. I think for these, I definitely want to do, like, full windows like that. Can I make these really small windows? <gasps> I can. Okay, so there we go. There we go. Nice, nice, like, natural lighting. Gotta get that natural light, guys. That's how you wake up in the morning. That's how, you know... You know, your day gets started, that natural light. I don't know if this is going to be two stories. It might be. It might have to be, actually, to be honest. Okay, so we're going to do the same with these. Okay. Okay, and we could go like that, but on the front that might look kind of weird, so I think we'll just do the three, okay, for the sides. Because that will let in a good amount of lights, and we don't need a ton of windows then. Literally, it's just on these little bay areas, and then uh, maybe some, like, little... I was going to do shutters and make this, but I think this house can look really just nice, you know, like, like they made it. They did something right in their life. Okay, so what other kind of windows could we get? I think some big window like this with the white border might actually be cool in the back. Oh, is this small? Uh, I kind of wanted it bigger than this. Kind of wanted it way bigger than that. How big are these? Nope, too small. Oh, here we go. These are good. If these come in white, we're, we're off to a good start. Uh, white and blue, that's not really white, but it's probably as white as it's gonna get. Dang it! Is that a window? Oh, that's like a column, that's weird. Shutters, well we can get the shutters, but would that be weird, guys? I think that would be really odd. Yeah, these are just too industrial, too, so... Uh... I don't know, I, I don't want to do shutters now that I... That I just, we don't need shutters now. Eh, we'll just call it quits with those windows for now and just kind of see how we feel. Like, actually, we should probably go up here and, where's those windows again? And do around the door. So, double door. Boom. Okay. Just something to let in light through the front. And then, uh, let's get the door on the house now. I want, like, that classy look. Like that, you know, that big door, red frame. I don't know. Something like that. Something beautiful. This is going to be three. Okay, and what about this? That's two. Oh, that's kind of modern. I don't know. Is our house considered modern? It could be a modern house. We can make a modern house. You know, I'm confident in a modern house. Let's try this. Boom. It's going to be a modern house now, guys. We're changing things up. We're, we're, we're reflecting. You guys feel free to let me know how I'm doing in the comments. You know, I just... <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go here. Um, and uh, let's go down a story because we're up on second story. Okay, so, decent natural lighting. Obviously, this back wall is not going to get a lot of light, but that's okay. I don't know if it needs a lot of light. Could do some windows on the sides here and let in more light through the front, but I think this looks good how it is. 
Okay, so let's decide what we're going to do here. I think this is kitchen slash dining room material for sure. So let's go uh, to the kitchen and dining room material. Uh, let's get a small table. I, you know, I know we're going to need more than this tiny table to feed our whole family. But, you know, it's going to look so cool right here. It's going to look amazing. And you can have, like, breakfast overlooking the amazing front yard. Um, okay, so modern, modern, modern. We're going to need, like, a beige, maybe. Just, like, something nice. I don't even know if you're going to be able to get back there. But I like the look of it, you know? I like the idea of it. I don't know if it's actually going to be functioning. I could go like this, you know? And But I, I feel like the chair's got to be like this, okay? I don't know if they're going to be able to pull it off. I think they should be able to. The, a chair here wouldn't work, though. So this is just, like... You're gonna have you're gonna have breakfast. You know, this is your little breakfast nook. You can look out the windows and just enjoy that awesome view of the street. <laughs> okay, so now let's try to build a kitchen. Oh boy. Okay, so do I want to do the kitchen against these, or do I want to do the kitchen right here and then like dining room table and stuff? I think we might have to do something like that just to just to spruce it up a bit. We could just do two dining room tables like these again, and then just like have everyone by like separated. But I feel like we have to have a together point. Well, let's just at least do the kitchen for now. Ugh, all these kids don't want a crappy uh, refrigerator, but don't want to spend a million dollars on a refrigerator either. Uh, let's go here. Twenty-six hundred dollars, kind of expensive, but it's not horrible. So let's put the refrigerator right here, okay? And then let's go over here get an oven. Don't want a crappy oven. Don't want an expensive oven. Oh, my God. Some of these are ridiculous. Okay, $1,400, $1,000 here. This should be this should be good enough. Okay. And then we need some counter space. Now, we're going to have a lot of counter space to kind of fill this and make it really cool-like. So, let's go with something like... How do we want our kitchen colors to kind of scheme out as... Uh, let's go with something... Light? It's got to be light, I think. Okay, because we already have light in the house. So, let's go like this. Okay, so, nice little kitchen area. And then we need, uh, this, right? Is this the same one? Yeah, okay. So, what I want to do here now is go like this, and like this, and like that, and like this, and like that. Or, wait, one more? One more? Two more? One more? One more. Okay. So, this, this is like our little kitchen area. We're trying to build it up, guys. Uh, I can already tell them. You know, I'm a perfectionist, and you guys know this. So I'm going to try not to be, and we can always make subtle changes as the series goes. Otherwise, you know, we're going to be here forever. Uh, okay, professional dish laborer. Okay, so we're going to need this. We're going to get with a lighter color here. Okay. And then we need, we need a sink, you know. Every kitchen, I feel like, should have a sink, even though we aren't going to need it, technically. Because we have, you know, an awesome dishwasher, but... We should probably have a sink. So we're going to just plop a sink right over here. Have some prep area. Can we put a sink in this? Oh, we can. Okay. Well, I like... Oh, it's got to face that way. Or no, it can, it can face this way. Because then you can have your sink to wash your stuff. And then this can all be like utensils and like perfect things. And stuff we actually need to run a household. Okay, an espresso maker. Let's get a, a nice espresso maker over here. Uh... We can put that there, and then we can also get a microwave, because we probably need to microwave some things. Is, is this one a little bit nicer on the eyes? I think it is. Okay, so there we go. Beautiful. Like the kitchen so far. Uh, I'm very picky, but, you know, we're going to get over it. Okay, so let's see. What about this? Can we get a nice beige color on any of these? Oh, God, these are fancy. These are very nice. It adds a little bit of swag to our kitchen. Okay, so there we go. Kids can eat. Um, let's actually delete that one because, you know, you're not going to eat there. So there we go. Nice sink, nice area. Um, prep food over here even. I, I like I like how it's laid out. Okay, so now we need some type of deco de decor in the kitchen because it can't just be this. Let's get the paper towel roll. You know, you need that in the kitchen. Actually, let me see because we're going to be... <gasps> Ooh, this is nice. I like these. Can these go? Oh, these have to go kind of like... Okay, no, I don't like those as much as I thought I would. I thought they were more like wall decor. 
Okay, so we have the aluminum uh, lab canisters. No, we don't need that for a kitchen. I think that would be kind of weird. Uh, where's those? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I want stuff like this. I want stuff like this hanging from the ceiling because I think that's so necessary in our kitchen. Okay, so let's grab these and move them like this. Okay, so that's at least somewhat cool. It looks kind of nice. A bowl of fruit. Uh, we can put that, you know anywhere we can you know corner that over here and then we can go get the uh, paper towel Ooh, we have condiments over here we can get those plop those like right there okay it just gives it that homey vibe you know that, that, that like ah at home okay let me see can I put any of these okay we can put the condiments and we don't need a paper towel roll but I kind of want one but I don't know now if this counter is unusable I think it is and that just gives us less counter space so no paper towel roll, I guess. As much as I really, really want one. Oh, look at this. Look at this. They should have a little cookie jar, too. I, I'd be a fan of that. I'd be a fan of cookie jars. Look at the Lux drink tray. No, we don't need any of that. Okay, so we're good. Teas and coffees. Ah! Okay. I, I want stuff maybe to put on the... Uh, put these, like, right here. Okay, let's just put those boxes there. Just something to give the kitchen, like, oh, look, at they got, like, little stuff here. Is this, like, a pantry? Ugh, that's gross. Uh, what else could we put? What else could we put? Little spice rack? No, don't need that. What's this? Oh, that's a little corner flower thing. Really don't need that. What is this? Magazine rack or what? <laughs> oh, is this a... Oh, this is a wine cellar. Oh, that's that's fancy. We, we definitely don't need that. Just a pipe running through the kitchen. Just an industrial pipe running through... The, that's kind of industrial. I kind of like that. Does it change colors? Oh my god, I kind of like this. I'm not going to lie, guys. I kind of really like it. I don't know. I think if I keep it. Because it's kind of like invasive. Industrial. So there's two chairs. There's four. So that's six total people that can sit in the kitchen. No formal dining area, but that's okay. I don't think we need one. Do they still have half walls on The Sims 4? Little, little half walls. That's only kind of one. Just like a little half wall running around here. Is this a half wall? Wall tool. That's the, that's the full wall tool. There's If there's a half wall, guys, fill me in. You know. Oh, wait. Is there? Right here? Half wall trims. Here we go. Half walls. Oh, here we go. Okay, so short half wall. Let's just go with a medium half wall, okay? So let's let's go by place these half walls here. Okay, just kind of to give a little bit of separation. I'm going to go like this just because it only needs separation there, I feel like. And then we need trims. So what kind of trim do we want to put on this? Uh... Ooh, nice. Fancy, fancy trim. Now, let me see. It probably should be actually lighter because, you know, we are we have a lighter kitchen. Okay, looking looking good. Looking fly. Not going to lie. I like the kitchen so far. And, you know, Sims can walk through there, so that should be good. We could grab this half wall and move it uh, one, one over, right? If we really wanted to, we could just plop it right there. Allow more space. So, there we go. Gives some type of weird divider at least you know you don't have to pretend that the kitchen's its own room because it is its own room okay wait we actually have to move this again because no, that's that's too much it's too much space guys i told you i'm a perfectionist this is going to be a process but uh, i like it i like this kitchen area i think this is a good way to raise a family of six um okay, should i extend it one more I'm, I'm just trying to i'm playing with with the 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 thing here you know, that's that's probably better. It kind of sanctions it a little bit more. Okay, so... Uh, I don't know. I'm so picky. We'll go like that. Yeah, I like that better. No, I like this better. What do I like better? Do I like this better? I like that better. Okay. So, now let's just move on. Before I obsess, let's do the mudroom. This should at least be somewhat simple. Uh, so, uh, would it be considered like a living room or like a walk-in type area? walk-in area. I need like a walk-in mudroom setup. Huh. I think I can go here and go to decor, decorations. And then there's I think little tables and everything. We need a rug. So when you enter, you know, you're you're greeted by just beauty right off the start, you know, a nice little rug. Um then we need that little where's the little tables? I swear there was little tables. I don't think they're considered coffee tables either, so I don't know if they'd be in living room decor. Let me see coffee tables we need like the taller ones you know like I don't even know if this is tall enough this is definitely a coffee table I need one of those table tables like these yes okay these are what I want yes okay this is perfect okay so let's see uh, 
Okay, uh, looks okay there. Kind of want to, kind of want to center that a little bit more. Okay, so that's nice. Now let's go back to decor. Let's get some tiny knickknacks and stuff. Just, just kind of fill this room up a little bit. Just some candles. Um, okay, let's get this little coat rack. Okay, you come in here. You, you got your coat rack. Let's see. Does, where's the shoe rack? I know there's a shoe rack. Okay, uh. And then there you go. It's like a tiny little mud room. Just nothing too crazy. Nothing too special. Just just happy little mud room. Put your shoes and, and all your other little knickknacks there. And maybe we'll even like toss a little backpack here. You know, like the, the kids like have left their their backpacks on the, the floor or something. Okay, so looks nice. We didn't do any wallpaper or flooring yet. This is going to be a long episode. I hope you guys are ready for like an hour long episode okay living room that's what we're doing next and that's right here so let's start with a tv we're gonna need a tv that's mountable because i want to mount it right there so let's just get like a, a silver tv here and mount it right there in the center uh should we go one more up we probably should just to yeah we could go down one okay so now let's get couches um hmm we're gonna need enough space for the whole family so this is going to be tough. Well, actually, it's, it shouldn't be too tough. We, we should be able to handle this. Okay, so let's go here. I, I really like this one from the business pack. I think it's cool looking. So we're going to toss this bad boy right right here. And then we're going to get some chairs. So, and that's how we can hopefully situate every single person. Um, okay, so this is what we can use for the chairs. Obviously, not everyone will be able to sit and watch TV at the exact same time. Because we're only going to have room for five people, I think? Five? But that's okay. Five is plenty. You don't need much more sitting room in your your living room than that. So let's get a... Is there like a nice middle color? You know, just nice and neutral. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, that looks nice. Now we need some type of decor to go in the center. So let's click the flower vases. And let's click this and make them pink. And can I alt these all around a little bit? There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Like it. Uh, we could probably get a floor, a throw rug for this in the center somewhere. Just, just kind of see if there's one that's kind of laid back, kind of chill. That one's not very laid back. It's kind of like in your face. Um, I know I like this one, but I use it a lot, so I don't know. You know, I, I like that one a lot, though, because it, it looks really good. You know, so like you can sit there, you can chill, you can enjoy your life. But we might carpet this room, so I guess we'll just wait. But that's about all you need for a living room, really. I guess we can maybe add a fireplace or some bookshelves or something. Uh, let's go with this. Do we want a fireplace in here? Ooh, this would look good. Hold on now. Let's go up like this. Can we squeeze this in right here? Must be against a room wall. It's got to be a longer wall then. Dang it. Okay, so what we could do actually... Let's put a fireplace <laughs> right across from this carpet. Okay, let me make sure that's centered with the carpet. I think it is. Yes, it is. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to move the TV back down just for more convenient viewing. Okay, that's the living room. I'm pretty content with this living room, not going to lie. I think it looks nice. Let's see if there's any other little plants we can spruce it up with. You know, decorations can always come in the future, too. And so I don't want this to be a three-hour video for you guys. I'm sure none of you want to see that. Uh, so let me see. A little decorations. I always like this lion, to be honest. I've used him quite often as a little centerpiece. Um, and then we can get, like, tiny little, uh, uh, where's the little decorations? We get, like, little flower bouquets. Little flower sets. Little, little beautiful, little beautiful flowers. Oh, we can actually put little vases of flowers next to, uh, the fireplace. Uh, it doesn't allow you to get close enough, which is kind of a bummer. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I wish I had this one unlocked. I wish I did. Oh, that one's nice. Oh, this is a really nice plant. These are all nice. Okay, well, we're not we're not going to focus on plants right now. At least we got something going here. I think this is going to be a formal sitting room. So obviously we're going to try to separate the living room with a wall just because I think it's necessary. There's going to be some type of separation. I do really enjoy open concept uh, rooms, but, you know, you, you got to have some type of separation and I feel like it's necessary because we're going to have a sitting area here and we don't want it to be super together. So, but I will have it still open and flowing. We'll use an archway. Uh, so let's, let's see here. Arch, arch, arch. 
boom. Nice, beautiful arch. Looking good. Okay, so you can still just walk directly in. There's no doors to open, no knobs to turn. But this is going to be a sitting room. We'll probably make some bookshelves and everything to make this kind of like a library slash reading room. Okay, so let's get nice, nice fancy furniture. Uh, what about this? What is, how does this look? Okay, this is nice. Okay, so we can put a couch here. And then we can go to chairs, and I think there's a chair that matches this too. Uh, I think it's this one. If I'm not wrong. Uh, I think it might be this one, to be honest. Yep, I think it is. Okay, so let's go like this. And back up this chair. One. Boom. Okay, so we can do another coffee table. And it's kind of like a... Just, it's almost a living room again, you know? Just kind of more chill, you know? Nothing... Nothing to... Nothing to, uh... Watch, really. It's more of just, like, relax with family and enjoy, you know, the fire. So that's what we're going to kind of try to set up here. Just, just a lovely little family room. Uh, okay, so flowers... We could put this on... Oh, that's got to go... Oh, that would be so cool. They need more, like, flower-type things that can go on tables, you know? And stuff that's not too invasive, but just... It's pretty! I need more pretty things, guys! Uh, what does this look like? Oh, that's nice. I like these. Let's change this color up a little bit. Hmm. You know, I could go with, like... I like, I like the grayish rocks. I think that's nice. Put that there. It's really just a chill room, just to kind of relax... Read a book, um, that kind of thing. So let's go get some bookcases. Uh, so these are huge. Let's see how we can color these up. No, that's not the color I want in a bookcase. None of these are the colors I really want. We're gonna need we're gonna need that nice warm feeling, the nice warm color. Now that's really chintzy. I don't like the chintzy look. Okay, so we could do this. Um Something like that. Nice bookcases. Kind of expensive. We spent a lot of money already. We don't have any bedrooms. All the bedrooms are going to be upstairs. So all the entertainment's up here. Um, or down here, I guess. Uh, let's see. So that looks good. We could probably put a desk with a computer right here. You know, if, if but we'll probably make a dedicated computer room or something, too. There's just so much we could do with this house. And there's so much we'll add throughout the, you know, the, the decades that will be living here. Like, right here, this could even hold some type of desk or some type of little reading nook or something. Like, if you really wanted to, we could add a couple chairs here and just just make it the, you know, like a little, like a little chill reading nook, you know, area. You know, boom. Just, if you want to, if you want to read... Wait, do they have beanbag chairs? You know, a beanbag chair would be so sick right here. <gasps> is this, is this considered a beanbag chair? It's like a little pumpkin. You can you can sit on it. <laughs> you can sit on a pumpkin, guys. They need a they need a beanbag chair. They don't have a beanbag chair. I'm so surprised. That kind of sucks. You know, I guess we could put a painting easel here. Just make ourselves feel kind of sophisticated if we want. Uh, if anyone wants to learn how to the art of painting, uh, let's see here. Get this and kind of just you know brown this out a little bit. How about to this 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 tone of brown? How about this tone of brown? There we go. So if you want to paint, you know, you can look out the window. You can get your painting in. You know, I don't know. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. We're not doing it. We're going to just keep this like this for now. Let's quickly, before we move upstairs, do the flooring and the walls. This is usually a quicker process because, you know, it's, 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 it's usually quicker for me. So let's see. I want to do the... I want a darker wood, I guess, for in here, but I don't want it too dark. Or do I want it really dark? Hmm, because this is like a very, this is a very professional room, you know, very just like, come on in, you know, uh, come into this beautiful home of ours. Let's move this rug. No, the rug's got to be against the, the thing, I think. Okay, come into this beautiful home of ours and enjoy, um, I don't know, fire and all this kind of stuff. Now let's go to carpet because I do want, like, there's all these new carpets that have come with uh, the dine out. And I think, you know, like, a good carpet in here would be nice. Because you need carpet in housing, you know, sometimes. No, it's too dark. It's too blue. I want just a warmer one. Like, uh, I don't know. This isn't warm enough, you know. It's, it's very professional. I feel like this room could really rock some, like, fancyish wallpaper. So let's go here to wallpaper. And let's go to, like, this. Like, this room could definitely rock this kind of wallpaper. 
This kind of super fancy wallpaper. I don't want it to be too just bland though, you know? It, I don't want it to be depressing. I like a nice warm house, so... You know, there we go. I guess that's that's a warmish wallpaper. We could go with warm and white because it'll match the carpet, so we'll probably do that. Something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we can always change it. I'm just kind of moving on the fly right now. So this one is going to be probably wood of some sort to keep it, like, really, really beautiful looking in here. Ugh, that's gross. Let's see. Brownish. No, I want, like, nice paneled wood like this, maybe. Yeah, this is a study. This is, it's a study slash... Is this going to change the kitchen, too? It definitely is. Well, we can always change the kitchen on its own. <laughs> so there we go. The study is complete. Looking nice. Now let's go here and do the this side of the study, obviously, in wood. And then this side's going to be the kitchen's colors. And the kitchen, I want nice bright colors. I want this room to actually be fun and and stuff. So let's, let's go like this. So when you come here, I want you to be like, dang, this is, this is a nice, bright, happy room to be in. I enjoy this room. Okay, there we go. Like, just, just, th this is good colors, right? I don't know. I like yellow. I do. I, I really like yellow in a kitchen. I feel like that's, it's, it's so good here in a kitchen. Okay, boom. So that looks really good, in my opinion. I don't know. It, it could be fancier, probably. And we could have probably, like, spiced it up with some browns, some mochas. But I don't know. The yellow? Eh, I guess the yellow isn't doing it for me. God dang it. Dang me and my taste. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Let's go like this real quick. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, because we have such professional stools and everything. I don't know if we can rock the uh, the yellow right now. Just because our stools are so professional. The whole kitchen is really nice looking. So, I think yellow would just throw it off. We might have had to be a little funner if we wanted a yellow kitchen. Okay, so there we go. And boom. Looking beautiful. Looking good. Now let's uh, get here. I don't know if I'm going to keep all these wallpapers, guys, how I've decided them. You know, th this is all going to be move-as-we-go type feel. But uh, let's get some lighting in here really quick, and then we can move on to the upstairs. So let's go to lighting. I know I definitely want some nice hanging lights for the kitchen and for pretty much all the rooms. I really enjoy the hanging lights and, and the look they have. Now this one probably can actually get fancier lighting because it's a fancier room. Like, uh, we can put a little chandelier right there. It looks nice and beautiful. And then we can drop a chandelier there. And, I don't know. You know, that looks pretty good. I do want a little bit more light, but, you know, these rooms will probably cover that. So let's go in here and get some... We could get yellow. We could have our yellow, guys. Let's go here and drop these lights right there. Just to allow some better lighting. Then we can drop some lights right there. And we can even, uh, I think that will probably be good. We'll have to, like, play it by by ear and see if it's good. But, uh, actually, we should probably just put a set here. Delete this set. Okay. That should, that should be good. It, it should be. It, it might not be, though. <laughs> we might have to make some changes. Um, okay, so looking good. Let's go in here. I like these lights, not gonna lie, for a living room. I don't know why. I might be weird, but I just do. Uh, so let's go like that. That looks nice. Okay, and what else could we do? Actually, this one might be nice for the living room, too. I've never seen this one. Oh, this one's nice. It's huge. It's huge. It's going to block the view of the TV. <laughs> it's too big. Date it. This is like, this is like, definitely like a big giant, um, like, a giant tall ceiling room type of light. I guess that's probably good. Some of these rooms are really dark for me. I might have to spruce this up, but at least we're getting the structure going and and things are happening, but I might have to spruce this house up a bit. It's going to drive me mad, guys. I'm telling you, I'm probably going to spend like 10 hours later on doing this. Uh, okay, so let's get the brick in here. We have like that darker like stone brick look. So I don't want this red brick because I think that's going to look really weird. I don't know. Can we get this here? Can I get this? I want to be down here, guys. Get me down. There we go. Okay, and then extend that out like this. There we go. And that looks nice, right? Well, yeah, we can make that work for now. Okay, so now let's do the outside wallpaper, which is going to be really fancy, I think. Like, really nice brick. 
some or stone probably. And that's I don't want it dark though. I want it to be like, like happy, yeah, but not like nah, you know, like, you know what I mean. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. That reminds me of like houses in Washington and stuff. We used to live in Washington for like a year and it was pretty nice. So, okay, let's do that. It it has a nice vibe to it, a nice flow. But uh, there we go. Now we got the whole second story to do, and we used about half of our budget on half the house, so everything's going to plan. I think, though, we're going to end this episode here, because I don't want it to go, like, two hours long or an hour long. If you guys want to see the rest of the house building, I will be streaming live on Mobcrush, like I said earlier on in this video. So if you want to see that, it is at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 5 p.m. Central and 6 p.m. Eastern, and that's 11 p.m. if you live in the United Kingdom. Uh, so if you guys want to check out the rest of the house building, we'll be doing a ton of games today. be streaming for, like, five hours. So come on over. The link's down below in the description, and I'll see you guys next time. Also, don't forget to comment down below the secret hashtag you can see on the screen right now. Allow me to know you made it to the very end of the video. And don't forget to show that like button some love. But until next time, guys, we're going to take it easy. Live and squeezy.